Mark from Cars and Cameras, and today we're going to take a look at the anamorphic lens for your smartphone. This is the Moment 133X uh, anamorphic lens, and this is a really cool lens. It lets you get some really interesting B-roll, or if you're really bold, you could use this as an A camera and get yourself some really incredible footage. So let's talk all about how it works, what anamorphic is, how it looks, and let's get right down to it. Okay, so anamorphic gives you this really wide field of view, as you can see here as the car rolls up. And you can also see it gives you those really cool blue flares. Now, this particular anamorphic lens really uh, emphasizes on that kind of purplish blue uh kind of kind of flares that you get, you know, as soon as you get some solid lights on the, you know, kind of reflecting on the lens. And as you move the lens around, you know, you can get that to be exactly the way you want it. So if you don't want so many flares, you can just kind of adjust it the way you want it. Now, one thing shooting with an anamorphic lens is it's really nice to be able to use filters. And the cool thing about the moment lens is it allows you to use uh, 62 millimeter filters with this filter adapter. It just kind of slides right on the front of the lens. And also it will work with other moment lenses too. Uh, but for today, we're just going to talk about the anamorphic lens. So I really like this because uh, I do like the creative control to use filters, especially during the daytime. Uh, video footage on the iPhone is very choppy. You can see here, this is adding uh, an ND filter so we can get that proper 148th per second shutter speed because we really want to preserve that so we don't have choppy footage. And as you can see here, here it is with the uh, Tiffin neutral density filter installed. And it works really well with that. Another cool thing is if you don't want to use the anamorphic adapter, you can also, uh, they make an adapter that you can go ahead and screw filters directly onto uh, the case. Now let's talk about cases. So there's two cases for my phone, which is the iPhone XR. Uh, that you can use. Now this case here is really nice. Um, it does add a little more weight and bulk, but this is not the case you want if you're going to put it on a gimbal. If you're going to use a gimbal, you're going to want to use this case here. Uh, it comes in a couple different varieties, but it does not have that uh, card holder on the back. So let's take a look at the case and see how it is. And it does add some stability with the case. It's a little easier to hold. Um, it's really wild how this case, it really looks like it uses a real piece of wood on the back. Um, I don't know about the longevity of that and if it might crack over time, but uh, as I understand it, these cases do have a lifetime warranty with Moment. So let's talk about putting it on the gimbal. So I'm using this uh, June Crane gimbal here, a compact one for smartphones, and it works really well. Uh, I do not uh, need to use any counterweights with it. Uh, even using the uh, filter on there, it works fine. Uh, it balances very well. And as I said earlier, uh, you do not want to use uh, the case with the card holder. It does not attach uh, to the uh, gimbal very well, uh, at least with this gimbal, and it adds too much weight. So that doesn't really work out really well. But without it, uh, it works great. Uh, and it is an excellent option. So overall, I really do uh, like using this anamorphic lens. Um, I think it's really great. You can get some incredible footage. Um, I was even putting the thing in my pocket uh, without the gimbal and just pulling it out and using it, and it worked great. So, guys, there's my quick look at the Moment anamorphic lens for your uh, iPhone or Android phone. Thank you very much for watching, and have a wonderful day. Mm -hmm.